The inconvenient truth of climate change has made renewable energy options a no-brainer. Now, in a world of blackouts and slow-burning fossil fuels, but uh, the Cape Peninsula University of Technology is facing this issue head-on with the launch of its high-tech renewable energy training center today. The facility is also churning out graduates for industry placement locally and even abroad. Natalie Malchas has more. A global shift to renewables is redefining the way electricity is generated and supplied. According to engineers at CPUT's South African Renewable Energy Technology Center, future power producers are looking to cheaper, more sustainable alternatives. Alternatives like solar, wind and hydro energy. At the newly launched facility at CPUT, students are trained in operational and maintenance skills linked to the renewable energy industry. The other thing Celtic has done really well, besides training on local qualification, it has partnered with a lot of international accreditation organizations and also training organizations. So, for example, we can even offer the, the European qualification on wind turbine service technician here. So because of our strong linkages and certifications and accreditations with international bodies, our technicians uh, can basically work anywhere in the world. The sophisticated facility is expanding its syllabus with courses in biomass, biogas and solar PV training next year. It's quite an exciting career to be in, especially for females who are out there who want to go out and make a, a difference in their lives. Especially for people like us with mechanical engineering and electrical engineering background. So yeah, it is a quite interesting job. Some of the equipment is built to size and the exact technology that students will encounter in the field. The machinery also incorporates artificial intelligence used to mimic scenarios during training. Over 200 graduates have already completed their training at the facility and are headed for wind farms and solar power plants in the Eastern Cape, Northern Cape and Western Cape. Natalie Malchas, Open News, Cape Town.